These are seven mandatory swimming tests for 10 year olds in Norway, going from the easiest when they start learning swimming to the most difficult when they can swim. Over half the world can't swim. Would you be able to pass these tests? Melanie, test number one. Take this cup and pour five times water over your head. Okay, that was test number one, pouring water on the head. Melanie, pass. Now Melanie has been training for two weeks. It's time to do test number two. Dip your head under water five times. I was training for two weeks. Why did you say that? Because I'm, I'm making it entertainment. They know you haven't been training for two weeks. They do? Yeah. Yes, you do. So Melanie, now you're gonna dip your head under water five times in a rhythmical fashion while you blow bubbles when you're underwater. So down, blow bubbles, up, blow bubbles. No, down, blow bubbles. So. I need to learn how to speak. Melanie, you're gonna dip your head under water, blow out bubbles, then up, breathe in, underwater, blow bubbles, and yeah, just do that five to ten times. Ready? Go. No, 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 no. Just dip your head all the way under water. Yeah, and then just and then up again. So a bit faster than that. Yeah, be under for like two, three minutes. No, two, two, three seconds. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, one more. And six, congratulations, you passed. It is really comforting that Melanie, as a professional lifeguard, passed this part of the test. You're right, Melanie, here, pay attention. We are in on TV here. For test number three, you have to come out of the water. Like, push yourself up like this so it, we get a lot of views. This is not part of the test. Kids do not have to do this. Okay. We want views. Let's go. So Melanie, you're gonna jump into the water yeah. and then you are going to pick up these. They're going to be 50 centimeters from each other and they're going to be two meters from the edge of the pool. So jump in, swim to the bottom, get that one, swim and get that one and then come out. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You have to jump like that. No, you have to just jump into the water. and then come out of the pool. You have to jump out of the pool. Get out of the pool. Congratulations, you passed number three. Students should float on your stomach, roll Not over- Not on your stomach, they should float on their stomach. <laughs> the students should float on the stomach, roll around on the back to float, while you breathe controlled for 15 seconds on each side. You can't breathe on 15 seconds on each side. You can't uh, breathe underwater. The description was a bit strange. We checked the video and she's to lay on the back breathing. When she lays on the stomach, she's just to hold the breath, not breathe in the water. Go! Jump into the water, float up, then kick up from the wall out with your arms in front of you and just glide five meters. And then you do this kind of kicking with your feet till you get to the other side. Then when you're on the other side, you turn around and you do the same on the back. Just, just kicking that like this, no kicking off the wall then. Okay, go. No, you have to turn around. Melanie, you did wrong. Failed test to do it again. Ready? Test number five, go.
Okay, you can kick your legs. Okay, turn around on the back and do the same thing. Kick the legs. Faster. Watch the head. All right, good. That was great, Melanie passed this test as well. You're gonna jump into the water here, or dive. Swim 12 meters to over there. And then swim two, three meters back. And then float on your back, float on your front. Switch around for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Okay, float on your back and front. Another 10 seconds. All right, you can swim back and get out of the water. Bravo, she managed. Four years of swimming training, and she's now going to swim 100 meters while picking up that ring, and then she's gonna swim 100 meters on her back. Dive into the water, swim uh, 100 meters, and on the last round, it's 20 five meter pool, you're going to pick up the ring that is over there, and then you are going to bring that ring here, put it on the edge, and then swim another 100 meters on your back. That's up to you if you will dive on your head or not. One, two, three. Ah, it doesn't matter. One round. Now Melanie passed the test and now she has a painful head because she has a cold and her sinuses are blocked. Sinusitis. Yes, that thing. But she passed. <laughs>